Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we are going to be doing a little bit of a transformation. I did this gradient thing on Instagram and I got matched to Nicki Minaj and I see a little bit of a resemblance. So I'm going to try and like structure my face and change my face to look like hers. I don't know if this is going to work out. I don't know, I'm going to do like an inspired makeup look from her and put a wig on this video is actually in collaboration with clay hair we're going to be putting on a wig i'm so excited it's so different and i feel like i already have long hair so with wigs it lets me like that's luna just grunting with wigs it allows me to like experiment and stuff so obviously i've got like ashy hair now which i love at the moment um but this is like totally different and let's just jump straight into it so we're going to focus on the hair first this is the color hair we're going to be working with with wigs previously what i've done it is um like tweezed out like the, some of the front bits to like make it look more natural if i were to wear this out i would definitely wear like um braids because it takes less space up especially with my long ass hair there's a lot of hair here. <laughs> You're gonna need a wig cap, which is super handy to keep all your hair in place. I use so much of these, especially with wigs, but during Halloween, because it's just so helpful to like, you know, keep your hair separated and it just makes a clean, clear canvas for your wig to go onto. <laughs> So I make sure my whole head is tied up and I kind of like pull it back. So we... On the Clay website, you actually have a ton of styles available to you. So I've chosen this like blonde one, which I don't know, I'm so excited to put on. It's Brazilian hair, so it's like super soft. Look at that. So soft. I will link this style in the info box for you guys. And I do also have a coupon code, so make sure to check that out. It's This wig's really good already because normally the hair would start chunky first, but these are like all like separated and it's like more of a gradient rather than a straight line it just looks more natural that way so right now i'm just putting it on to see like where i want the hair to be once you've kind of like figured out how you want the wig to be placed it's going to look rough at first um, I'm just going to cut some of the net off in front of my face so I can see what I'm doing. So obviously because I have really dark hair, I, don't, I have to bring this a little bit forward to cover that. So you want to cut like pretty close to the hairline. So it's best to keep like a little chunk here to keep like in front of your um, ear. There's actually already slits for you to cut for your ear which is so like easy. And convenient so now my ears there and we have like a little bit here to cover some sideburns 
Okay, so now to glue this, you can use like glass glue or hairspray. I'm gonna cut the rest of this in a bit. Actually, should I just do it now? I'm gonna be using this Elnet Satin Hairspray by L'Oreal. This is the Supreme Hold. It kind of has a stick to it when it dries down and I, I can also use some clear lash glue, but I've heard a really good hairspray is the got to be one, which is what I see a lot, but I just don't have it. So I'm just gonna hide some of my hair because it's like peeking through, which I don't want. Hair forward. You just want to spray like a good generous amount on your skin and just let it dry. I'm just putting some lash glue on top of that. This is like latex free lash glue, but any clear lash glue would do. And you just want to like bring the wig forward and literally put it in place and glue it down. So like, just hold it down, the net actually glues on pretty well with the hairspray alone. But I'm just putting like the lash glue just for extra hold. Okay, so this is the wig on. Now you can always like take excess hair off if it's looking like a helmet. But to be honest, I don't mind like the volume. But like, that's just glued on effortlessly. The first thing we're going to use is this BBB brow pencil in the shade Cardamom. This is the one that has like a little hairbrush tip. It's so good to be honest. And we're just going to lightly fit in our brows. I'm then going to take some of my Hourglass Brow Gel. This is in the shade Dark Brunette. I've been dying to try these No Filter Concealers. This, shade, this one is in the shade Medium Dark 34. And I'm going to use this as my base. These dry down hella quick. So I'm going to blend one eye at a time, but we want a nice base for our eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to be using this California Loved pa Powder Palette. Uh, it's an eyeshadow palette by Colourpop Cosmetics, and it's just like me in a palette. It's so pretty. The first shade I'm going to use is called Laguna. I'm just going to like press this, but really like bring my eye out. So we're going to really focus at bringing, extending that eye shape. I'm going to bring this in more. I'm really not that great at illusion makeup. Alexis Stone, who's a really like cool makeup artist, he does these cool transformations that like, I'm not at that level. so. Please don't expect to see Nicki Minaj by the end of this video because it just ain't gonna happen. <laughs> now the next shade I'm gonna take is Gold Rush. It has a little bit of a sparkle but I think it can pull off as a crease shade. But again, I'm really gonna focus on bringing that eye out and extending it. We're gonna do the thick eyeliner so it doesn't really matter if like you haven't got much color on the outer corner. Okay, so the next shade I'm gonna take is called Diego super intense I'm just gonna press that all over the lid 
So next I'm taking El Capitan and we're going to press that glitter all over the lid. That is so, 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 so pretty. Again, like my camera is so bad at picking up glitters, but that is so nice. I'm going to take my tattoo liner by Maybelline to do our like classic wing liner. Next I'm going to be using these Blinksy Lashes in the style Spotlight. I've actually trimmed them so that they're really like wispy. Alright, whilst my lash glue is drying I'm going to apply a bunch of mascara. And we're going to take our lashes. Right, those are the eyes done. Oh, I'm loving it so far. Okay, now we can move on to our skin. I'm first going to moisturize my skin with my Body Shop Vitamin C SPF. For foundation, I'm going to be using my Double Wear Foundation in the shade Toasty Toffee by Estee Lauder. My camera actually stopped recording, which is so annoying. And I've just blended this all over and you can use this foundation to like go over your um, net line to like make it blend into your skin a bit better. I've forgotten how much I love this foundation because when I wear it to work like it stays on, it doesn't budge, it just like literally, it's a bit dark for me Toasty Toffee because it oxidizes a little bit. So I'll need to, a lighter shade for sure, but it is so, so good. Like I recommend it to anyone and I have dry skin, so it doesn't dry me out either. I don't know why, but I'm just feeling this wig, guys. Next, I'm going to be using these ColourPop concealers. These concealers actually look super light from the packaging, but I'm going to be using medium dark 32 to really like highlight my under eyes. But it's like the perfect shade. And the applicator is so fun. I really want like the center of my face to be super bright to make sure to blend that quickly because these do dry down I love how bright that looks. Keep blending, just keep blending. Now to blend that in place, I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in the shade Blondie. I'm just gonna press this into my into the center of my face. Now for like the face structure bit to get that real Nicki Minaj face structure. I feel like this should be really square. contouring When it comes to nose contour, I really find it helpful to just use my fingers. I'm not like the 
the expert at it. I'm going to use this Patricia Bright face palette in You Are Gold. I'm taking the bronzer just a little bit. And we're just going to really bronze sides. I'm also going to take some of that blush in there. And we're just going to put a little bit on the cheeks. Then finally for lips, I'm going to use this Lipstick Queen powder. It's like a velvet lip powder. This is in the shade Cake Batter. I'm not completely filling my lips in. All right, guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, this is definitely different to what I usually do. It's super matte. And I'm not mad at the lip, to be honest. But let me know what you think of the wig. Does it suit me? I feel like this, for me, is like an event kind of, like, look. But I'm not gonna lie. When I have my makeup done and everything, the actual colour actually is not bad with my skin tone. It's so Nicki Minaj vibes, I feel like. I'm gonna call this a Nicki Minaj-inspired look because this is not a transformation. I don't look like a girl, okay? Um... But, yeah, let me know what you think. The hair is, like, so soft. It doesn't even get, like, tangled. It's, like, it feels like real hair. It's so pretty. I can't stop looking at it, like... And obviously, if you want this less bigger, you can always pluck out hairs to make it look thinner. Check out all the links below for clay hair. Their wigs are really good quality. This is Brazilian hair, by the way. And they've got tons of styles. And, uh, yes. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the thumbs up button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.